Some time ago, I've stumbled upon a tweet suggesting initializer lists being the biggest mistake in modern C++. Let's see if there's some truth to that. In my opinion, this view is true, but with a twist. I would say the biggest mistake is brace initialization having special rules for initializer lists. Brace initialization was supposed to add uniformity to initializers. You could directly initialize objects without the problems of most vexing parse, you could do aggregate initialization, you could use it anywhere you want. Well, at least in theory. In practice, however, adding initializer lists to the mix made it all quite dangerous. Let's see an example. Let's create a good old standard vector. Vector v and let's type 10 and 20 here and then let's simply print out the contents. And I need to add explicit type here because well Visual Studio and let's run it. The output is 20 repeated 10 times. Now let's use braced initialization. So we're adding braces here and let's run it again. Now we simply have 10 and 20 just because there's a vector constructor taking an initializer list. Simply changing parentheses to braces costs another constructor to be invoked. That leads to a problem. Can we always use braces during object initialization or not? The short answer is no, while it should be yes in order to achieve uniform initialization syntax. The implications of the decision for this one special case made the initialization inconsistent but also introduced a problem with backwards compatibility in libraries. Let's see. First let's get rid of this code and create a simple class called, as usual, a widget. In this class let's create a simple constructor taking two ints and writing out two ints. And here, as with our previous vector example, let's create an object taking 10 and 20 with our braces. Does it compile? Of course it compiles, it works. It will print out int and int. Now let's pretend the library author, who is providing the widget class, wants to extend it by adding another constructor with an initializer list. So we have a widget, std initializer list of int. Here we are put list. And what happens? Well, you can already see the same thing as with our vector. Another constructor got invoked, which is quite surprising really. Without any changes to the client code, suddenly another constructor is being invoked. Only because someone added the initializer list here. This simple case resulted in a breaking change, and this is very bad. This forces both library authors and their users to constantly look out for this special case, or not to use braces initialization at all. But if that wasn't bad enough, let's add auto type deduction into the mix. Let's say auto A equals 1 and auto B 2. Can you tell what the type of A and B is? A is an initializer list, while B, huh, on the other hand, can be either an initializer list or an int, depending on which version of the standard you're using, C++17 or earlier. As you can see, this is one giant mess. To conclude, were special initialization rules with initializer list a bad idea? Well, I believe so. Was it the biggest mistake of modern C++? That can be argued, but I also think yes. But now, tell me what you think. Is there something bad you think should not exist in contemporary C++? Do you think of another mistake which happened and should be fixed? Leave a comment down below and I hope you found all of this interesting. Click subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.